Hey what's up everyone, in this video we are going to add the pause menu so we'll be able to pause the game using this pause button and under this menu we can resume also we have this home button so that we can go to the start menu and if you didn't watch my previous videos go ahead and check them out we are making a 2D platformer game from scratch using Unity Engine and if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So at this point, we've created our first level and we've added a start menu that contains all what you need for a 2D platformer game. To create a pause menu, First, we need to add the button so that we can pause our game and to do that, we can go under the canvas and let's create the button using right click, UI, then button I'm gonna call it pause button then let's move it to the top right hand corner using shift alt, we can select this option let's make it as a square by changing the width and the height to 65 by 65 also I want to move it a bit on the X axis by 10 and on the Y axis by 10 as well then I want to remove the text and that's because I'm using the sprites that comes with this pack I'm gonna add a link to it under the video description let's select our button then let's search for the image I'm using an image that is called pose which is this one but if you click on this button, you will not be able to pause the game. We need to create a function that is responsible for that. So you could create a C-sharp script under the scripts folder. Or I'm gonna create this function under the player manager script. Let's double click on it. Then let's go all the way down and create the function to pause the game using public void and let's call it pause game. And to pause the game, it's very easy. We could use time dot time scale. If you change this to zero, the game will be paused. So the default value is one. If you increase it, the game will be faster. And if you change it to zero, we can pause our game. And to check that it's working, let's save the script. Go back into Unity. Then let's select the button. And let's go all the way down under the on click we can add our function then we have to drag in the object that has this script player manager I've attached the script to the player manager empty game object we can drag it then we can select our function under the player manager script which is called pose game so this is called whenever you click on the button let's check it out for now I can play if you click on the button you notice that everything is stopped but also we need to display some kind of pause menu so that we can resume the game or go back to the start menu and so on and to do that let's create a new panel under this canvas or let's duplicate the game over panel we've created this game over panel in our previous videos which is basically a simple panel that has this button I'm gonna duplicate it using Ctrl D then let's rename it to pause menu panel Let's disable the game over panel and let's adjust this a bit. For example, we need to change the button to resume button and the text to game post. And let's select a different sprite. I have this one that is called resume to go back to the gameplay. Also, I want to add another button so that we can go to the start menu and adjust some settings. And to do that, let's duplicate our button. I'm gonna move this one to the left side by changing the X position to minus 80. And let's move this one by 80 on the X. Or maybe I'm gonna use 50. Then let's change the sprite. Also, let's rename it to home button. Now we're gonna hide this pose menu and we are going to enable it whenever we click on the pause button 
But first of all, we need to change the functionality of these buttons. So these buttons are actually replaying the level because we have duplicated the game over panel. And to do that, we are going to change the function that is under the on click. But we didn't create this function yet. We can add it under the player manager script. Let's use public void. I'm going to call it resume game. Also, we need to add another one to go to the main menu using public void go to menu. And this one is very easy. We just need to load the menu scene using the scene management namespace. First, you have to import it. We've already added that using unity engine.scene management. Then you could load any scene using the scene manager dot load scene this takes the index of the scene or the name of the scene let's give it the name which is menu which is the name of the scene menu you could also use the indexes so if you go to file then build settings you will see that each level or each scene has an index the menu has the index 0, you could pass in 0, but let's leave it like that. Now whenever we pause the game, we are going to show the pause menu, and whenever we resume it, we are going to disable it, and change the time scale to 1 again, and to do that we need to add a reference to the pause menu, using public game object, and let's call it pause menu screen. We're going to reference the pause menu from the inspector. But first of all, let's go ahead and show it. Under the pause game, let's use pause menu screen dot set active. Then if you pass in true, Unity will enable this pause menu. And whenever we resume the game, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to change the time scale to one again. And we're going to hide the pause menu using set active false. Now let's save the script and use our functions. We've already used the function to pause the game. But we have to select the resume button. Then we need to select the function resume game using the player manager script. And it's called resume game. Also, let's select the home button and change the function to go to menu and don't forget to disable the pause menu panel and let's hit play so let's click on this pause button but I forgot to reference the pause menu panel make sure to select the player manager and we need to drag in the pause menu screen which is this one and let's try it again and there you go now we can pause the game and we can resume it so it's very easy. Also, we can go to the start menu using this button. And as you can see, we are inside the start menu. But we have one problem. You see that our player is not playing his idle animation. And that's because we've actually paused the game. When we have paused the game, the time dot time scale is zero. Even if we go to the start menu, this is going to be zero. That's why the game is paused in the start menu. And to fix that, we need to make sure that the time to time scale equals one. Basically, we need to open a script that is under our start menu. For example, you could use the character select script. We've attached the script to the character's empty game object. Or we can create our own script and change the time to time scale to one. But I'm gonna open the menu events We've attached this script to our canvas. Let's open it up. Then under our start function, we need to make sure that the time dot time scale equals one. And that's going to fix the problem. Let's check it out again. Let's load the first level. Then let's pause the game. And if we go back to the menu, you will see that it's working. 
So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.